Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Drago Born. I know it's been a little while, but there has been a lot of news other than the pre-release that's going on this weekend and some spoilers, which we're going to talk about in the next video. But the organized play announcement did come out for the first half. So for those that don't know, Bushiroad usually does like a spring series and a fall series. The spring one's just kind of a fun shop tournaments, regionals. You know, there's probably a dozen different events for North America. And then the fall is the ones that all qualify for Worlds and whatnot. So we do have the Spring Fest coming up. And I am so excited because I finally get to play Drago Born again at a major competitive level. So for those that are interested, I will be going to the Chicago Regional. It's like a week and a half at the time of recording this. And I'm really going to try to make it to Toronto as well. So... I Look down in the comments below, guys. I will have the full link to the announcement. It has the prizes, what you win, when you got to be there, where the location is going to be, all that good stuff. But I did also want to put together just a quick video to talk about what is the prize support for Springfest. So again, I want to mention that it's not qualifying you for Worlds or anything like that. This is kind of their, their smaller regionals, more about team-based events that they're doing for the other games, and then Dragoborn obviously being new and being on their main day, which is a big deal in itself. So but I want to make a side note here. Thank you, Bushy Road, for showing that you care about this game and are taking it serious enough that you're putting it on the same day as Card Fight Vanguard. For those that maybe not, not following Bush Road, we always got our si other games, like when I was playing Weish and I was playing other games. Yeah, they were always on Sundays because they were the you know smaller games that didn't care about them necessarily as much. So finally, we're in the spotlight, and I feel really good about where it's going to be going. So that's enough rambling. Let's talk about some prizes. If you guys haven't seen these full arts in person yet, now that's the first thing I want to stress, that for those that you know follow different JTCGs, maybe you follow Force of Will as well. The one thing that Force of Will really did right, and it wasn't on every single one, but they, they really did do a good job, was their full arts and how they were presented, how the text was done, how the stamping was done, which Bush Road has done in other cards, do not get me wrong. But until you see a Dragobor Dragoborn card in person, you won't under completely understand. And when they put this out there as regional champion it's stamped right on there now there's medals and pins you stuff you get all that too so that'll be later on but you get this card beautiful alternate art full art in hot stamped regional champion promo i want to play some of these i'm going to be completely honest i don't know if the so there is this like angel tribal thing which that's probably gonna be its own separate video going on this is gonna be one of the cards you might play in it so it just it, it adds a little bit of link to the deck let's be honest and the artwork is gorgeous now i couldn't find a high res enough photo i could have used the plain art so i probably could have pulled that up for comparison um just so you can see the general design of it but again this is alternate art full art all that good stuff so you'll have to see it for yourself and when i uh when i hopefully win knock on wood uh, i'll upload a picture of it to our twitter and facebook so that's what you get if you're champion. If you make top four, you also get this wonderful playmat. Now, I will say, if you're playing Weiss, you guys really won. You get a Persona 5 top four playmat, which is, is hands down the best playmat, let's be honest. But, hey, I get a top four playmat. I'm perfectly fine with that. And beyond that, Bushiroad is really known for giving us a lot of free swag on Enter. So you have you have your top four. You have your champion. What, what does everyone else get? What do you get for just entering this free event? You get a foil stamped battle preparations card. This will, of course, all these are going to be one per participant, so take that in mind. Another card that if you're playing blue, you're probably going to want some number of these. I'm probably going to collect a playset just because I, I, well, one, I want rarities to match. I hate mixed rarities within individual cards. And again, I can't stress enough how nice the stamping is. Now, this one isn't full art like the other ones, but it is a regular stamped card, which is beautiful all the same. Now, this doesn't do the best job at presenting it, but you also get a storage box, which has Steve Argyle artwork on it. And if you've seen our other videos, I've ranted about that enough. I love Steve. He does amazing artwork for this game, and I'm definitely going to get my hands on that as well. And then there's also going to be a drawstring bag that you get, which they didn't have a picture of, so I don't have that up here, but everyone gets one of those as well. So a really quick high-level recap about what the prizes are. So top eight, you're going to get a top eight pin like they do for the other games top four you're getting the play mat top three you're going to be getting a medal which is interesting here that it says metal and not those kind of glass trophies that they did previously so i'm wondering to see where that goes but either way i'm very excited for it uh, and the last thing i wanted to mention here was the dwarven sharpshooter so if you won your shop challenge or if you've actually placed top three excuse me uh you got a little ticket that lets you redeem this for the foil stamped versions so a little interesting how bushy road took that route i can't say whether i agree with it um it's it's an interesting market to get people to go to the regionals. I really wish I would have got that stamped card itself. That said, I'm going to get my place out of these as well anyway. So chances are people are going to be going to the regionals. They've won their shop challenges. They're going to have them in the North America Dragoborn group, which I'll have a link to that down below as well. So you're, you're going to be able to get them, and you, you got a non-foil version for playing anyway, so it's not hard to get a place out of this card. But again, I really want that complete set of Spring 
best packages. Uh, so the, the three different cards in this case at the end of the day. Will I get all of them? Who knows? I'm really excited to play. And I hope you guys are too. So you know that Dragonborn really is my guilty pleasure. It, I have not loved a game this much since Kaijudo from top to bottom. And I really hope we do have a much stronger organized play season. Obviously last year was a little bit rushed because it came out at the end of the year. We had a national championship, which was great. I won the California regional. I placed top, uh, to all top five. Uh, I tied for fourth and breakers cut me out um, of the top four cut for nationals, but uh, I certainly had a good run. It was great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop us a like down below. If you're going to the Chicago Regional, make sure to say hi. I'd love to meet you guys, play some cards, play some games. It's going to be a great time. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more Drago Born content. We will be going back to doing videos very, very soon for this game. And I'll try to bring you guys some live coverage, if possible, from Chicago as well. So on behalf of myself and the rest of the Six Stages Gaming crew, thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next video. Have a good one. This video made possible thanks to our Patreon supporters. Thank you to our honorary sages.